Kindergartners, today we're going to put the finishing touches on our snowman. So you have some papers, you have crayons, you'll have buttons. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my snowman a hat. So I'm going to use black paper. I'm going to give him a top hat. If you want to give your snowman a Santa hat or a rounded snow hat, you can do that. So I started by cutting a long rectangle and then I'm going to cut a square. And if I overlap those, looks like a pretty cool top hat. I might trim this one a little bit more. And if I glue them together, it looks pretty nice. I'm going to cut a triangle out of this orange paper for his carrot nose. So my scissors is cutting at an angle. And then I'm going to cut again at an angle. And I end up with a pretty nice looking triangle. Your triangle could be pointing down or it could be pointing to the side for the nose. I'm going to use a crayon to draw some eyes. And I'm going to glue down his hat and his nose. You will have other scraps at your table as well to make scarves or mittens. I don't have a lot of paper today, so I'm actually going to make a black scarf. Glue that down. So a scarf can just be a long rectangle. And if you want to get super fancy, you could do a little fringe cut, like we did on our turkey feathers a long time ago. And that'll kind of make it look like his scarf is blowing in the wind. If you want to color on those, you could do that make a pattern or a design. I'm going to give my snowman a nice little smiley face using some dots, like Frosty has a charcoal smile. I could add a little bit of color to my carrot, make it look like it has a texture. I'm probably going to want arms on my snowman. Kind of hard to see on that blue paper, but that looks pretty nice. You could draw the fingers. You could cut out pretend mittens for your snowman. If you want to add snowflakes with a white crayon in the background, you could do that. Stars or dots. The very last step is to add the buttons down his belly. You can have three buttons, and I'm gluing them on last because they need a pretty good dot of glue. So I'm going to put three dots. You can have one button or two or as many as three but no more than three. So I have my three dots of glue. I'm going to put my button in the glue and then I'm not going to touch it. It's my last step and I can see the glue is kind of sticking out all the holes in the buttons. That's my last step and I'm going to carry it to the drying rack. Not touching or moving those because they just need to dry. And there is your Frosty.